Now on today's video, we're going to try to show the steps and some tricks and tips that'll help you if you're looking to cover or repair or pull the wrinkles out of a motorcycle seat. These are just basic things for covering a motorcycle seat. But today we're going to take a little break from working on our MT-09. We're going to do a little favor for Luciano. He's coming down with a seat for his new bike. I'll let him describe the bike. I haven't seen the bike yet, but he's having trouble covering the seat and getting out the wrinkles. I'm not so sure we can do any better, but since we have all these videos on, on the channel of how to cover seats, and we do have a lot of them, by the way, and, and most of them have come out okay, I think there's a chance we can make it better than what it is. Maybe we can make it perfect. Now it's true, out on our channel, and anybody that's watching a how-to video might not know we post something every day, motorcycle paint related, and we have covered a lot of seats. I'm not sure all of them are, uh, are as good as I think they are, but here's just one. And years ago when Karen got her embroidery machine, I used to put little logos on the back of them. Well, it doesn't really matter. The, the covering part of it is kind of like recovering furniture, and that's something Karen and I have done over the years covering antique furniture. So I'm going to try to share some of that information on this video. Now this is funny, when I bought this, this is my uh, West Cooley GS, the, this seat came with it. And I see the seams in it, and there's seams everywhere. And I have always tried, when I cover a seat, to not have seams. That's just me, but I know people that have good sewing skills can do that. I really like the look that it's all one piece. And it is, that does not have the seams. But of course, now what happens with modern bikes, they even put the thread. In this case, you could put some light blue thread in there. But I think Luciano was only concerned with just getting the seat covered in one piece. And we're going to try our best. And by the way, it's a lot easier if you have a friend helping you. I've done it alone. I've done it with friends. Easier to do it with friends. And Karen, when she got her embroidering machine, we were just embroidering up socks and t-shirts. But I wanted to show this. This is another seat, a spare seat for the green bike. And these are the things, I don't like any seams. But now when you get up around here, you get down here, you've got to really work those corners. And I'm going to try to share that. And by the way, if you don't, if the information you're looking for is not on this video, put my name in quotation marks and recover seat or motorcycle seat. Those videos will come right up. And one of them, and I don't know which one, I think it's the one we covered this seat, that there's one out there that's got like an incredible amount of hits and it's very popular. Now I always like to show this because a lot of people don't really understand. When I bought the R1, I made six seats for it. And I made them with extra padding. You can see this has got an inch of padding. I made an extra rear cowl. And the, the whole thing, this was really an exercise just to see, and I was practicing, and I was doing a lot of stuff here, but you can see here some of them, ah, it wasn't so good about getting the wrinkles out, and ah, up around here it's difficult, but we're going to try to, with two people, I think we got a real good shot of getting this. Now when I made the RD Cafe seat, of course, I, took the, I did the opposite. I took some of the foam rubber out. I wanted to make it lower. Well, it, this is the whole thing. When you're making a custom seat, you got a lot of choices. And, and just be aware, this is something that I found out the hard way. I, when I had this bike, and it was the red Ferrari bike, I ordered some faux leather, vinyl. Vinyl come important information, vinyl comes two ways. Vinyl that's made to stretch, and vinyl that's made not to stretch. And so if you buy vinyl, you want the stretchable vinyl. I had bought some that looked like leather. I thought I'd make it look like a Ferrari, that leathery color. And it was impossible to stretch it. And so I had to go back. I recovered it with another piece of the black. The vinyl that we've used in the past typically cost about $9 to $10 a yard. Luciano just bought a yard. He said it was $25 bucks a yard. So like everything else in our world, <laughs> it's a new world, baby. Now, as I've been working on the MT-09, and a lot of people have responded on the comments section how much they like it. And thank you guys one and all. Yesterday's little project... I put these recessed bolts in there, and I kind of was dreaming last night. Now, see what happens is you can see the, the paint shining in there. I'm going to try to figure something out in the next day or so. I want that to kind of be maybe even just in the background here behind the bolts to have a piece of carbon fiber that matches that. I don't know, but in between here while I'm waiting for Luciano, I'm trying to think of stuff. And the thing is, I dream about this stuff every day. I try to think about it and come up with unique ideas. Now, if you looked at this bike... 
when I first bought it, and you look at it now, mm, of course it's in the eye of the beholder, but I think we've made good progress making it a uh, kind of a cool bike. It's pretty funny, a couple of days ago I was out riding the RD and reliving my childhood and dreaming that I found the Fountain of Youth, and I was thinking summer's on the way. I, it probably was 50, 55 degrees. Today it's 25. No, there's ice on the pond. I got to chop ice and then get ready for Luciano's little project we're going to work on. It's really an 18 project, and we've done this many times before. Chopping pine dice, so much fun in the morning. Good way to start a day. Now well, the waterfalls are still going. I already have, <laughs> have resigned myself to the fact that I'm going to be chopping ice for a few days here instead of riding the RD. Now, just mentioning things that are important to me, the seat on this bike, you would look at it from the top and you'd say, wow, it's so thin up there. Well, and you look at this, it doesn't look like there's a lot of padding. Well, for the passenger, maybe that's true, but the part where you sit is really nice. For my ergonomics, I'm about 190 pounds and, and 5'10". Well, that seems to work pretty well for me. So... The point I wanted to make is if you were looking to put add some material to this to make a more comfortable seat, right now is the time to do it. And then put the new cover right over, well, in other words, what I've done in the past, put rubber over this and then put batting and then put the new cover right on top and the seat is a lot thicker. You sit up higher. It seems like it's the same equivalent thing of lowering the foot pegs, but having the seat fit your ergonomics I think is one of the most critical things in motorcycling if you're going to ride. If you're just going to go up to the local pub and have a beer, eh, maybe it's more important that the beer is cold. Now, just worth mentioning, there's some exceptions to the rule. The GS I'm trying to keep like a, as stock as possible. And I know you got to get them from, there's aftermarket seats available, the covers that have all the, the impressions on it, all the wrinkles and everything. And same thing for the RD. There's, they're available. And so by covering this with, with one piece, eh, I don't know. But when you're trying to maintain that standard look and that it looks like an exactly stock bike, sometimes you got to ante up to the bar and buy one of those covers. But those covers, when I've put them on, they're as easy to put on as pie. There's no stretching involved at all. So keep that in mind if you're trying to restore a bike that you want the seat to look just like it came from the factory. That is one of the seat choices. Okay, we'll set up while we're waiting for Luciano. You need a, a stapler, of course. That's one thing. And you need various size staples. Now, I have quarter inch. And you got to make sure that the staples are heavy duty. Now, some of them are not. If you look, when you buy the staples, they'll just say genuine staples. But some of them are going to say heavy duty. And it's these are the heavy duty ones. They're way... i got to compare them side by side to show. But the heavy duty ones... And usually you need quarter inch or three eighth to go into the nylon that most seat bases are made out of. Now it's a good idea if you're covering the first seat is to buy some three eighth, they're not that expensive, and some quarter inch because what's going to happen is depending on how hard the nylon is, sometimes the quarter inch goes in fine. And if you're going through the old seat, what I'm saying is you're going through two layers of vinyl and into the, the nylon, you might want three eighth. And you really have to use that arrow staple. You really have to press on it with all your weight to get that to penetrate into the nylon. If those things are not in all the way, mm, I don't know. It is it is a physical thing to get that thing stretched and those staples in. Ordinary arrow stapler from Home Depot, Lowe's, any place. I guess Paul Freight even has them. It's, an, it's a very common tool. It's easy to use, but you really have to do this one thing of when you're putting that staple and you have to put pre enough pressure on that when you squeeze the trigger that the staple goes all the way in. So it's a good idea if, you, if this is the first time you're doing this, practice on something at the back of the seat where you're not going to see it. Because when, once you start stretching it, you really have to press down on that to get the staples to go in. Now this is an important thing to understand. These are regular staples, regular arrow staples. And they're fine if you're going to put carpeting into a wood floor. But this is what you want to make sure you have and take a look in the box. See the teeth on them? These are, they're usually defined as heavy duty staples. And all of these heavy duty staples, whether they're 3 8 quarter inch or even longer, the, the thing they have is those, that pointy tooth. Without that tooth, you, if you were trying to use these staples, you're going to be frustrated trying to get them to stick into the nylon. And it's good to start 
with the right tools and the right equipment and none of this stuff is expensive so there's no point in compromising buying cheap staples so the first thing if you're not familiar with an arrow stapler you press down on that tab this comes out staples of your choice go in these are heavy duty we're going to start I'm assuming 3 8 are going to work since I'll have a helper here when you have a helper it's a lot easier now that is ready to go if you if you wanted to say do a test on a piece of wood or something but until you have that nylon that the seat is made out of you have to really get a feel for how you got to press down on it and that's it requires a little practice and it's also going to require a pair of needle nose pliers or wire cutters to pull out the staples as we go we're going to put them in stretch put new staples put them in stretch and you're going to need a lot of staples and you're going to need a pair of sharp wire cutters to do this the way I do it anyway so I just wanted to show this this is a seat cover I got from Ray Stroud for I don't know what bike it's even for but he thought maybe I could use it adapt it I don't know it looks like it's for a, a, a touring bike I don't know but I always thought I saved it because I always thought I could cut a piece of this out and and somehow <laughs> I don't know but I didn't have to feed it the one thing about these things you don't have to feed them but let me just show one thing here about the vinyl because we've we've done this enough to know some of the tricks I'm sure I'm not like an upholstery maven this is a seat that we took off a cover now I don't know why it doesn't really matter but I wanted to show this vinyl can be non stretch usually there's no fabric in the back it's just vinyl what the, has the, the fabric in the back it means you can usually stretch it a certain amount and you can heat it with a hairdryer and really stretch it or with a heat gun so I wanted to show that before we actually work on the seat you got to get a feel for how hot can you make it because if you make it even a little hot too hot what happens you destroy the vinyl so there's an amount you can stretch it and an amount you can't so we're kind of walking a fine line but I'm going to practice a little bit on this piece before Luciano even gets you with his stuff I just thought I'd show this these are for other seats that I had made that went over the seat itself and then covered and it's this is basically half inch closed cell foam what you would have on an old TZ 250 this is what they used for a seat and I made them for various seats and you can carve it and cut it but this is the material that's really handy to have and it's it's open cell foam this is not close so it's very very soft the reason this is nice and we may even need it today it acts like batting batting mean it allows a nice smooth cut this when I bought it was three dollars now it's probably forty but so having all this material once you have the material you can cover you know probably for a yard you could do two or three seats at least so because I'm trying not to leave out any steps that might be helpful with this this channel is about sharing useful information what I think we can all do is a little demo before we even work on a seat I want to take the vinyl I want to be able to still touch it if I can't touch it it's too hot also you could use a heat gun but boy you better be real quick with a heat gun now the whole idea is understanding that vinyl is flexible now once it's warm oh my god it's real flexible you can do that you can bend it around corners yeah and when it cools it goes right back it's like carbon fiber is it goes right back to the way it was when it's cold yeah you can stretch it but boy you got to be Godzilla to do it but anyway so that's one of the things we're going to be doing today is when we work on Luciano's seat keeping the vinyl warm now it's really nice I used to have it I don't have it now I had a heat lamp like you have over the french fries in McDonald's and what would happen I could feel the vinyl would like mountain a tire same thing warm vinyl warm tires makes the job easier so you brought batting that's good we may need some yeah that's well, let's see did you put batting underneath there no no, no worries, so not that. That. it's your stuff okay and you got extra vinyl just in case we uh, we ruin this yeah we're not going to ruin it we're tough guys you pay, I pay, it was one yard and a half I pay 40 bucks 40 40 bucks wow freaking believable. good thing you got that machine that prints the money right now it looks like you did a halfway decent job here yourself yeah I can't get I uh, can't get rid of those wrinkles here yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me show this on the camera and we'll show how we're going to do it. So, Luciano, the, the question is, and this is, makes it real simple. He already put this on. 
This what's the name of the bike? Hyasung? How do you say Hayasung, that? Hyasung. Yeah. Hyasung, a Korean bike. Okay. And you see how the, the staples aren't going in all the way? Because notice they're not heavy duty staples. I wanted to show this, trying to make people rich. Yeah, look. Notice he used the wrong staple. See the difference? They're twice as thick. But we're going to straighten it all out. We'll take these staples out when we're done. Yeah, that looks like you did a halfway decent job. Holy yeah. mackerel. I didn't know you had this talent. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I thought all you know how to do is eat pepperoni the pizza like me. The wrinkles like in my face. You know, we could open up a facelift place. I'll do your face first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to try to do here, I'm going to try to heat the vinyl. And you always do this. You look at where the wrinkle is. And you stretch it in that direction. That's the whole secret. There's no other secret. The wrinkles here, you heat this whole area and then stretch it this way. Okay, did that make sense? I did. I you did, did. no, nah, but. I wasn't a, uh, yeah, I but wasn't you're, a, yeah, you're not as good as I am, though. Yeah, right. And I'm not that good either. <laughs> yeah. Where's the other one? Oh, you only have. The other one. The other one's fine. Okay, this nice. isn't wrinkled as bad as this side. This is the side you couldn't get out, right? Yeah. Okay, so move over a little bit. So I'm going to need your help here. Yeah. We're going to take out the staples. And the other seat is so heavy. I, I, I believe it was a cement inside. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't figure it out. It's drugs. I bet you open that up, there's drugs in there. That's how they <laughs> smuggle drugs from Korea in here. <laughs> Tell you, hey. Ask me how I know it's stuff. Okay, so we got to get. See, use these little staples. When I use these, you, they, they come out later. Some day down yeah, the road. Sometimes they go in. Uh, yeah, okay. crooked and everything. Yeah, I know. I, and this is not the best pliers I have for this, but they could be okay. I think the good ones are out in the garage and it's too cold to go out there. Okay, so we'll take these out. Let's just see if we can get the wrinkle out of this piece. And if not, we'll put another piece on it. That's all. Okay, now see, this is one more. And this is where it's, see that one just fell right out. Yeah. Okay, now see, where that wrinkle is, this is the way you got to go. See how it comes out? Yeah. Okay, that's what we got to do, but I'm going to heat it first. Okay. Okay, so let me, let's warm it up. Did you put batting underneath this or no? No nope. bat? Okay, so if we can't get this out, I'll put batting underneath it. Let's just see if it's all lucky day. Maybe that's what it was. Well, we got extra material, so you don't have to worry about it. This was not easy seat to go over because of the angle. Because it's like, yeah, yeah. The 750 seat was difficult too. Okay, I don't want to make it too hot. Now wait. What do we want to do? You hold it. Just hold it. I want to pull this as tight as I can. And this works really handy when you've got a friend. Boy, that's hard rubber, boy. Yeah. That's hard nylon. Okay, let's see if we got half of it out. Okay, we got half of it out. Now we'll do the same thing to the other side. So you got to work it back and forth, back and forth. It's got to go like that. Okay, so... I told my fat ass it was good enough to, to remove the wrinkles. Well, I don't think no, so. No, no, After no. Against, I ate some more pasta. It probably you got to eat more pasta. That pepperoni oven you got in the back, that pizza oven. <laughs> Okay, so we got a little bit of it out now. Now I want to heat it this way. Let's see, we can pull it. You always want to go where the wrinkle is in the opposite direction. So let's take this out. Let's see if it's a lucky day here. Would be nice if we don't have to use another piece of vinyl. Okay, now let me heat it and we're going to pull it down this way. A bit of body. Yeah, look, we, we, got, we got time today. I don't get paid by the hour. And you don't get paid at all, so. I don't pay you. <laughs> it's a good combination. Okay, so Joanne Fabric is getting rich on us, huh? Is that what's happening? Oh my God. Let me just see if we got, yeah, we got it. Okay, let it go, let it go. I gotta pull it around this way. Now, let me roll it, let me roll it, okay. Now you got half of it. Because all the staples gonna come out, we'll put new staples in the right way. All right, let's see. Let's see if we got half of it out. Oh, yeah. That's about half of it. Now we got to do the same thing. See, the other side is flabby like that. We got to do a facelift to the other side. Yeah, you got half of it out. Now just let that sit. It's yeah. going to, it's going to little by little conform. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could put some up here. Hold the seat up that way. It's so easy when you got a guy helping you. I know. And, you know, especially a guy like you that's really qualified uh, to I do this. <laughs> I get paid 50 bucks an hour. Yeah, I know. I, you're very good at drinking coffee. I know that. <laughs> and I give you a good price. Yeah, you give me the price I like. Free. Okay. Yeah, let's put another one in here. Okay. Let's just get this up here. All right, now that's not going to go anywhere. And you got that wrinkle is almost totally out. Almost. Now you got this one here we got to deal with. So let's, same thing. See, the wrinkle is going yeah. this way. Yeah. You want to pull it this way and this way. So let's take, do the same thing. Let's take out some these staples. Good thing you didn't use the heavy-duty staples. That we had twice as much the, work here. The uh, air gun staplers. Yeah, I got an air gun too. But the staples are too damn big. No, no, they'll come out the seat. You'll be sitting on a bike and go to get off and your staples no, in the, the seat. No, the seat will come out for us. <laughs> Oh, you're so low tech. Okay. So the bike, you got the bike painted already? The bike is all painted. So I saw the little picture. It looks pretty good. All I have le uh, left is the the license plate from uh, Vermont. Uh, and yeah, the, okay. So that's no problem. And the, the charging uh, probe I have. It. Well, the charging is nothing. You you could fix that. Otherwise, I fix the brakes and uh, everything. Check it out. Did you go up and down a block yet with it? Up and down the street with almost no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was, I was getting ready to put my feet down. I remember when you gave me those wooden brake pucks for the RD. You said, oh, these are real good. I got them from China. They were made out of balsa wood. All right, hold it up like this. It's like a San Francisco trolley, right? Yeah, the San Francisco <laughs> trolley is right. Oh my god. People don't know how much fun it is restoring motorcycles. Oh my god. I remember the day when we were putting Glenn's Ducati engine in the fun we had out in the driveway. Oh my God, was that fun. Okay, so now this is loose. I'll heat it up and we'll do the same thing. All right. Yeah, we get that off. I don't think you're going to need the batting. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you wanted to make the bike, you know, like a show bike, yeah. No. No, I know you. It's not sure, but you you don't care. Okay. Now I wanna turn it over this way. Now you you stand on this side. I'm gonna pull this way. Give me the give me the gun. Let me pull it as hard as I can. Okay. One second. Now turn it over. Roll it that way. Roll it that way. There you go. Okay, now let's pull it this way. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got 80% of it. Okay, hold this and I just pull it this way. Ah, this is where you got to be tough. You got to have this. Ugh. See, it's got to be on something solid. That's the problem. There you go. There you go. Okay, that'll hold it for now. Let's just pull this up. Okay, that's just temporary. Those staples are all going to come out anyway. So let's see if we got it. It's good. Oh, you got 80% of it. Yeah. Okay. Now, see, this is baggy here. We'll turn it. We're going to stretch it this way, this way. Okay, go on the other side now and hold it for me. Yeah, that, you got 80% of it. Now, I'll get mm -hmm. the, I'll get more of it. Out. Let's turn it up this way. See, it's helpful if you have it that the table is on the bottom. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Uh, and that lets the vinyl stretch just a little bit. It relaxes after a while, like a tire. Okay, here we are. Pull that up. Yeah, hold it temporarily. Let's see if we got the wrinkle out. <laughs> nice, right? Yes, yeah, nice. Holy crap. Boy, I got to charge you twice the price. Now, because this is, we're going to have to loosen it here. Uh, I wouldn't touch it in the middle. No, no, do it right. Do it right. These staples got to come out anyway. You can't, you don't want to leave those staples, do you? Why? Come on. Why not? Come on, because it's it's better if you do it my way. They look nice. No, they don't. Always listen to the guy who drinks the most coffee. <laughs> That's the guy that knows what he's doing. People that don't drink a lot of coffee, never trust them. You go to a doctor, he's not drinking coffee, don't go yeah. to him. Find I was uh, in the garage doing some work. Uh, I couldn't sit there more than 10 minutes. 
Was I was out yesterday was freezing. Like a, a oh, I know, I know. I'm like an Eskimo out there. I was doing with the with the uh, the what do you call the MT09 yesterday? I was freezing. All right, we're going to stretch this. So you're going to have to really hold this tight. There we go. That's going to it's going to be nice when it's done. And then I'll put all new staples in. Oh, that thing would be beautiful. Okay, hold it. Wait, a minute. let me let me stretch it first. Okay, now roll it. Now let me get my hand in here. Okay, roll it. No, you got it just like that's good. Let's roll it up here. Let's see if we got some of the bagginess out. Oh, oh my God! Your behind's going to fit right on there. Perfect. <laughs> Wow, that's nice. That's really yeah, nice. 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 Okay, so now the trick, we're going to just let it sit for a minute. Then I'm going to take one or two out at a time, put the new staples in. We'll, we'll tighten this up up here. Is this too much? You have to trim it? No, no, I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim it. Um, yeah. So far, so good. That's step one. We got to replace the staples next. So because he has all these staples in, what we're going to do is take three or four staples out at a time. Heat the cover, stretch it a little bit more, and then replace it so that at the end of the job we have all these heavy duty staples. You can see the difference. You, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. But these, they'll, they probably would be okay, but as long as we do this, we're going to try to do it as good as we can. And this way I can up the bill. Okay, so what we got to do here, let's get the way. Let's do one side. It doesn't matter what side you do first. We'll do this side. Hold it up like this. Let me start and do. Like four or five at a time. You don't have to do them all at once. So actually, you did a pretty good job here, except for yeah. that one wrinkle. Yeah. Wow. Because I know in the beginning, when you do this the first time, it's a little. Uh, well, some seed came out. Yeah. Better, some came right. Out, so, it, so. Well, let me heat this up. It's like the first time you take an engine out of a bike. You, oh, I get yeah. to you hold it up like that. Let me go around here. So I came and you try to make a little bit of uh, yeah. Says, yeah. Well, you know what you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we just warm it up just a little bit. Little by little by little, it's going to be beautiful. It's a good material. Yeah. yeah. For the price. <laughs> For the price. <laughs> they should make it out of gold. Okay, hold the seat. Let me stretch this. Now, see what you can do sometime. You use the nose of a stapler. Hold that solid. Okay, there you go. Now hold it solid. I'm pushing up with the gun, pushing it down. Let's get good staples in here. I don't want you showing everybody this thing and saying Wendy doesn't know what he's doing. They already know that. Okay, let's see if we got... My God, it's better than the Koreans are going to call me up and say they want to know how to make these nice seat covers. Wow. Is that nice? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Let's do the other side too. So we're doing side by side and front to back. Let's take some of these out. So I depend on this block. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll come up, if, I, if we have another cold day like this, I'll come up and just see the bike. Yeah, I didn't want to sew it while you got the engine out of it and all the messy stuff. Okay, let me turn this up. All right, let me get this. There's no real secret to doing this, and if you do it once or twice, I don't think anybody would have a trouble doing this. Right. Okay. So I don't think we even need your batting here. Now let me pull on it and then roll it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. See how good the staples go in when you're up against mm -hmm. the table? You won't get those out. You'll be riding around, this thing will be flapping in your, where your underwear is. <laughs> it's going to be attached to your pants. <laughs> I remember the day your R6 seat was coming off. One of your eyes were riding behind you. I was afraid it was going to come off and hit me. You're a dangerous guy. Oh my God, that's better than a factory job. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Another thing, anytime you have the support, always sand this edge. Because this is a sharp edge. If, if you know what I mean, that time goes by. Yeah, I was afraid the staples are gonna scratch it in the side. Of yes, you put tape over the staples. Put, yeah. Just put ordinary Gorilla tape or something. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Okay, so now we're gonna do this piece here. 
when I take these out, this is going to move. So just hold it like that. Okay. How much you do, uh, charge here? Uh, wait, let's let's heat it up. I, there's no sense How making much this. How much you going to charge me for this A dollar. <laughs> a dollar. The same price you change me, you charge me for all those RD main jets. <laughs> then I looked online and they were half the price you charged me. <laughs> okay, hey, hold it. No, I no, no, let it go. I gotta make some money. Right? Hold it. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, okay, roll it. There you go. And just hold it steady now. Okay. That one didn't go in. It's on a soft part of the seat. That one did go in. So you're home free all. Okay, let's take this staple out. You should see my cousin upholster furniture. She's a master with this stuff. Really? Oh, she did couches and stuff with the, you know, antique stuff. This stuff's worth a lot of money. I mean, your stuff is cheap. If we wreck it, we just go get another one off eBay. Right. Okay. Let's see if we got... Holy mackerel. You see any no. wrinkles in there now? Nope. Wow. So I guess from this point on, we're just going to, no sense letting the camera run, we're just going to replace all the staples. And, and then we're going to celebrate. So Luciano said he, he was a shoemaker in his previous life. <laughs> I think he's still a shoemaker. I do pretty good Just, sure just ba so you don't cut yourself, then we'll put Gorilla Tape right on top. Okay, so we did this. I guess that's as good as it gets, baby. My shoes, I need new soles on my shoes, too. Yeah, yeah, give me your feet. Come on. <laughs> the point, I thought we are going to be able to make a cover today. Okay, hold it up like, turn it around this way. Hold it that way. I put the gorilla tape on it to keep it from scratching the gas tank. Mm -hmm. The paint's done on the gas tank. It's all done. Yeah, I'll try so, to get. I'll try to get up and see it. Yeah. Well, I still got some work to do. So no rush. Yeah, and you find out this will keep it from scratching. That's usually a good idea. Put a piece on the tank too, that you don't get the paint scratched. Let me just go put this. Okay, one second. Okay, turn this this way. Yeah, that'll keep it, if there's any chance you're going to scratch that new paint. Mm. Cheap, I, in, cheap insurance. I got a gas tank of on the, on the tank anyway. You got two tanks now, right? Yeah. Okay. One is on primer. Okay. What color are you going to make the other one? I have an idea. I get to Look it. through my paint. See what color I got. I got blue. I got blue oh, again. I can, I can do any, any color I want. I got a lot of old paint. Do you, you see, you know how expensive the paint is now. I Holy pay mackerel. one quarter yellow, I pay 82 bucks. Oh my God. What happened to the $9 a quart paint? <laughs> you can use own people. Hey, you do, I know. Yeah. Ah, we'll get it. Don't worry about it. If you find a color you like, here, you, you wait at least a week before you do some paint you over. Roll it up that way. And, uh, you're gonna be fine. One thing, at least, you're not gonna see a lot of these on the street. No, absolutely. You, you'll have, uh, like Vlad, you'll have the only one. You know? Yeah. He likes having the only bike. That nobody's got the same bike he has. He's not gonna be a faster bike, but if, uh, probably if he does a 100, I'll be more than happy. A hundred's enough. Yep. I've seen guys that get excited riding a hundred miles an hour. I'm one of them. <laughs> right, let's do the back. I, think he has a I don't think you have to do the back. The, the front is nice. Let's, yeah. let's show how that came out. And I don't know, but that's... We didn't have to make a new cover, but all the, all the tricks for pulling out the wrinkles are basically, I think, on there. But I, you know, like I said, we have so many other videos about covering seats. It's... There's got to be, if you have something unusual, that's got to be it. That's a good job. Now, every time you sit on that bike, I want you to think about how much fun we had today. <laughs> I think we need one more cup of coffee and we the bike can go right back onto the show circuit. You did a good yeah, job. That's good. That's for sure. We always do a good job. What are you kidding me? 
So that job, I think, really came out good, and we did not get to show how to make a cover. I'm going to try to pull some of that out of one of the older videos so that we have as much information on this video to share as possible. I'll put that on the end. Now, before Luciano leaves, this is the batting that normally we would put under the seat if we couldn't get a nice smooth finish, but the way that came out, I don't think you even need the batting. And that Gorilla Tape up in the front just keeps the staples from scratching. He's got brand new paint on a fuel tank, too. So this is Luciano's hybrid, Toyota hybrid. It's an hybrid, it's Honda. <laughs> it's a Toyota. So just kidding. <laughs> He's not, I'm just kidding. CRV. That's how you can tell it's a Toyota. It has Honda decals on it. <laughs> you got Vermont plates on this or what? No. <laughs> this has a real registration, oh, yeah. huh? Yeah. Wow. Sooner or later you'll figure it out. Ooh, that's a nice looking engine. So how does this work? Did you ever figure it out? Earth Dreams. Holy mackerel. Turbo. My daughter would like this. You know how this works? You know, this is the secret. All these leaves, it's like a steam engine. You put them in a furnace, they make steam, and nobody even knows. That's how you get all that yeah, extra mileage. Uh, I, can't, I can't find a way to prevent the other pine needles. No, nah, you can't. I can't. I have the same thing in mind. That's impossible. Yeah, so this turned out to be a good vehicle, huh? Oh, yeah. Honda. Great. Honda, Toyota. Yeah. Hard to go wrong. Oh, they made in Japan stuff. Now, because we didn't have to make a cover today, I thought I'd pull this off of one of the other seat cover videos. And, of course, there are many. Again, just look them up. There's, there's a whole bunch of them. This shows how to make, make the cover from material. And just to get this roughly in place, we're just putting a, a rough shape on this. Now, I'll see if these staples are going to work fine. Usually, you got to press down with your second hand. Real handy, by the way, if you have a, a helper doing this. Uh, it, it doesn't mean you can't do it without a helper, though. So, and if the helper is going to, uh, you know, he can help you hold it in place. So, what we basically have, step one, we've got this tacked into position. Now, what I'm going to do is just carefully, without making too much of a, uh, a thing to do here, I can trim some of this away. Just to make this easier to make the bend. And we're going to constantly be trimming and throwing these little pieces away. Because what I want to do, I want to get this piece up just roughly in position here. It's going to move a hundred times. Now I've got to really see, get this piece in. If you can do it this way, of course it's a lot easier. Now, we have it it's just really rough, super rough. Get a piece here. Now there's, there's probably professional upholsterers, you know, have, they would laugh at how I do this, but, but it's okay. At the end of the day, the job gets done. And they can probably do it a lot faster, but in the end, probably not a whole lot better. Okay, so we just have this, and that's the next, That's the beginning step. We just have it roughed into position so it can't move around, and we have plenty of overage on all sides. That's, that's the first part of getting the, the seat recovered. Now, from this point on... So I wanted to put some of this in fast forward because I think you can get the whole picture here. It's, it's making the original cover and getting that sheet of material to just be roughly tacked in place, kind of self-explanatory. And if you play around with the staple, little by little by little, you find out this is not as hard as it looks. Anybody can do this. Most final stretch, now what we'll do at the end is just with the nose of the staple, I take each staple out, push it in just a little more. But what this does, it lets all the wrinkles reside now in the inner lip, which is, and we just keep stretching it in with using the nose of the stapler and pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in. And what will happen is, now we're going we're gonna to work from this point. We've got this point. Actually, it came out pretty nice. We're going to, see, we've got a wrinkle up here. We're going to work, we're going to work this wrinkle all the way. And then we wind up at the end. The end is the most difficult part to do. But little by little, the nice thing about this is it's a non-committal project. You can always go back and, and use the other cover, if, even if you make a mess out of it. But it's very, I think it's reasonable to do. And I think if you watch any of these videos, not I only mine any of them, but it's a relatively simple project for under $20. It changed, and I, what I want to do with the green bike is find that 
the blue that matches. Kawasaki did make blue seats at one at some time, and see if they have that fabric. And and it's a non-committal because I have to have the front tacked in, the back pretty much tacked in, and we've got to get this wrinkle out. Well, if there's a certain types of material of thin vinyl, you can just pull this like it's rubber. This is nice heavy material. This is this is really nice stuff. So what I'm going to do, I can use, do a hair dryer or a heat gun. If I use a heat gun, you got to be real careful. I'm going to warm this material, then take out the staples and just start. I mean, imagine I'm always going against the wrinkle. In other words, when I pull this, I don't want to pull here. I want to pull this wrinkle this way, this wrinkle this way, and just keep stretching it. Go do the other side, come back, go back. And after, at some point, we'll little by little see that wrinkle start to disappear. And then we'll have to do the nose section. The back is already done, back is happy, and we're just gonna have to, this is gonna take time. Okay, so it's time, we gotta get these big wrinkles out. We're gonna start by warming the vinyl. Again, if you use a, if you use a heat gun, you can burn the vinyl. This is a little more forgiving if this, if you're doing your first seat, might wanna think about just doing it with a hair dryer. Even better, if you live in a warm weather climate, Put the seat just like it is now out on the hood of your car on the dashboard and let it cook. The heat, right now, heat is your friend. Now this is where it's tricky when you're doing this alone. And of course in my shop, I always try to plan a way of doing everything alone. I don't have a live-in helper here. Now I'm getting that wrinkle. You can see I've got it out. Now I've got to spin this back. A little more difficult than it looks. Stretch it with the nose of the gun. Stretch it. Stretch it. This is only temporary. And I've got more of it out. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull that side. And you can see what's going to happen. As I stretch this, when the material is warm, it's going to start to conform. And I've got to go back and forth, back and forth. But little by little, we're going to get all those wrinkles out. I thought I'd show this in stages. We're down to the last little bit. And again, if I do, if I heat this, or if I lived in a sunny weather climate, I have this because it's black, it'll turn into a solar panel. Out in the backyard, I've done these with no heat at all. Just pull them and stretch them and use the, the natural sun. Save the planet. Okay, we're starting to get there. Patience, heat. And always work one side, the other side, one side, the other side. Now, as I'm doing this, because I'm stretching the material, I've developed some wrinkles in the back. No big deal. We're going to just pull the staples out there at the very end. Because then at the end, we're going to put staples, new staples around the whole edge and then pull out the old ones. No problem at all. So, so far, so good. You just can't try to rush the system. The system is you got to work it and work that vinyl back and forth, heat it, work it, heat it, staple it, stretch it, and when you're done, the results speak for themselves. This, this, when you have an old ratty seat on a bike with a hole in it or a rip, and you can do this for 20 bucks, and do it. Part of this job is I have to check with my quality control inspector who just happened to be walking by. Karen! Yeah? How do you like Steve's seat? Really nice. What, what do you think? I like it a lot. All right. All right, Steve. It's for you. Come pick it up. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. We heck? found out the staple gun works best when you put staples in it. <laughs> At today's project, we have yet another Ducati seat. What did we do? Three of these already this year? No, Mark had one and Luciano had two. This one looks like it's in better shape than the other ones. We got some other material. This is Joanne fabric material again. Should be a piece of cake. Now, the reason I added this in, because this shows how to put the batting on, and I didn't want to make the video, uh, I'm going to hear about these videos are getting too long again, but anyway, this is the one step we left out here. We're using some Elmer's glue on both sides, the, the foam, getting the batting to stick, but again, this is a little out of sequence. This is from all the older videos that are out on the channel. Now, this is always the hardest part of the job, collecting the money. <laughs> Always the most hard part. I gotta make you wait for that shit. Oh, God! Absolutely. Today's little project is I wanted to put the recover job on our FZR seat. 
the seat has faded oh it's faded and the material has not held up well it's not vinyl material so first thing I'm going to do this morning is pull this I've pulled the tail section out pull the seat off and get get out of the tundra where it's freezing this morning and this is some of the outtakes from the FZR the seat for the FZR was a real difficult one because of the curvature in the front required a lot I, I had made several seat covers for it some of them would not appropriate material and and this the whole idea of showing this is when you don't have the right material or it doesn't work out or you have a rip or a thing you usually a couple hours away from having a nice new seat cover and they're all very much the same they're all similar but they're all just a little different but once you have the 101s and some of the tips and techniques and i've tried not to leave out any steps even though the video has gotten long I try not to leave out any steps. Final product, that really came out nice. Now, I didn't think of it till right now, but that's just one of the, one less thing I'll have to do uh, when we get the new body work for this bike and we start converting over to the new paint work. Now, well, that's for the future. But that project, that one is in the bank. you enjoyed the video and maybe you'll attempt recovering a seat yourself as for me I'm going right so to make this video complete and have all the details that I thought were important I had to I had to go through three older videos but again they're all out there in full length I think they're all worth watching if you're serious about wanting to recover a seat and it it really spruces up a bike for very little money and I don't think any part of it is something like if you were to make a mistake cutting the frame or uh, bending a rim with a, a tire iron or something. It, it's really a non-committal thing. It adds a nice little touch to the bike. And of course, you always have the choice of making it a different color vinyl or putting some embroidery on it or I don't know what else. It's be creative this is the bottom line. Always be creative. So if you enjoyed the video, I hope you share it with your friends. And of course, I hope most of all that we'll see you tomorrow. And thanks again for watching.